Hello, I'm Matt and welcome to Badger Workshop. I'd seen Steve Ramsey's and William Walker's videos on making a wine holder. I really liked the idea and thought it'd make a great gift for my mum's birthday. So I thought I'd have a go at making one myself and using some of these oak beams I was given. But first I needed squaring up and ripping down to some usable pieces. Then I could glue some of them up into a panel. The panel will form the top of the wine holder. As I say, this is certainly not my original idea, but most things have been done in woodworking and there's not many original ideas left to be had. But what I do like to do is take an existing idea and put my little twist on it, making something to different dimensions, using different materials, and just doing little tweaks that make it mine. The top was going to be circular, so to mark out the circle, I have knocked up this little tool that I call a stick with a hole in it. I didn't have a compass quite big enough, but a bit of string would have worked just as well. With it marked out, I can move on to a slightly more high-tech machine. The last time I cut out a circle this size was when I made the clock, and I used the router for that. But slow and steady produced quite a nice circle, making sure I'm on my mark, and then I drill out holes for the wine glasses to go into. There are only small holes, so only the stem will fit. The larger bit, I drill out several holes to make the handle. I then use a rasp and a bit of elbow grease to get the final shape. Where I drilled the holes for the wine glass stems to go, I then need to cut little slits for the glasses to slide into. A lot of concentration goes into finding the right spot, as you can see. This hole is for the most important bit, the wine itself. Wine bottles, luckily, are about the same size as down lights, so finding a hole saw the correct size was easy enough. Now onto my high-tech router table, or a router mounted in a bit of MDF. It does the job on simple tasks like just rounding over all the edges. I was going to use pretty much all the leftover piece of beam to make the leg. It needs a notch cut out of it so the table can fold flat, and when extended the bottom of the wine bottle rests on the notch. So that the leg will fold, it needs the corner rounded off. A bit of extraction hose does the job, and then it can be cut off on the bandsaw. To give the leg a little more of an interesting shape, I wanted it to have a taper. So while at the bandsaw, I also cut this. So that a table with one leg can stand up, it needs a spike on the bottom to drive into the ground. I had some threaded rod, so I thought I'd use this. With a hole drill to accept the rod, I could mix up some epoxy. The rod is going to pretty tight fit in the hole to start with, so the epoxy should be fine to hold it in place. When the epoxy cured, I sharpened the end of the spike to make it easier to drive into the ground. It's now a table and a lethal weapon. With the leg and the table top done, I needed a way of joining the two together. I was going to use a brass rod as a hinge that would go through the leg and into blocks of wood either side of it. I decided to construct the mechanism first and then attach it to the top. I just glued it in place with some PVA glue to start with. And when it had dried, I drilled through and countersunk the top. I could then drive in some brass screws for some added strength. In my excitement, wanting to move along with the project, I drove the whole brass rod in. If I'd been clever, I would have cut it to length first. With it cut to length, I just mushroomed over the ends of the rod so it wouldn't pull out. Please insert your own joke. With the leg extended, it was quite secure, but I wanted a way of fixing it upright. I drilled a hole through the offcut of brass, and then fitted a brass split ring to it. See how I intend this to work in a bit. I gave it all a sand, working my way up through the grits until I got a nice finish. And then I could apply several coats of Danish oil. Very pleased with the colour and the look of the brass. While I waited for it all to dry, I fitted a bit of leather to the split ring. The leather strap could then get secured onto the leg of the table. 
Now when the table is put upright, the brass rod can be put into the hole to lock it in place. That's it all done. All we need now is a summer of nice weather so it can be enjoyed. Thanks for watching and please subscribe for more videos.